Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving two problems and chapter problems from chapter number 9, 9.39 and problem number 9.44. And this is on the request of a student. Okay, so let's uh, have the first problem. For the circuit shown in figure, find Z equivalent. So we have to find Z equivalent and as you know, Z equivalent is the total impedance at this point that will be Z equivalent that is the sum total of all these and then use that to find the current I so after we have found Z equivalent we find the current I by simple Ohm's law V divided by Z equivalent Okay, so first of all, if you look from at the circuit, generally we prefer to solve from right hand side. So we look from here, you can see these two are in series. So we call them Z1. The series combination will be called Z1. And so let's find out Z1. So Z1 is the summation of the Z, uh, J min, uh, minus J14 and plus J25. So minus J14 plus J25 and so it will be equal to j11 or we can also write it in polar form as 11 magnitude and angle is 90 degree for j we write 90 degree and now these two are in parallel so we'll solve them in parallel and give them another name we'll call that z2 so let's now calculate z2 Z2 is the parallel of 16 and Z11 and we can solve this multiplication at the numerator and addition at the denominator and so if you just multiply it will be 16 into 11 and angle 90 and then this can be converted into polar form with the help of your calculator so it will be 19.42 angle 34.5 now if you have difficulty in uh, converting from rectangular to polar, I'll recommend that you watch my video uh, in, in that I have shown how to calculate from polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar with the help of a calculator. And now after this, we just divide the magnitude. So 16 into 11 divided by 19.42 will give 9. And the angle, this angle will go up become negative so 90 minus negative 34.5 will give angle 55.5 degrees and again we convert this into rectangular so we can use either of them we're converting into rectangular we find 5.1 plus j 7.42 this is at 2 and now you can see from the circuit that the total impedance will be sum of all three so the z equivalent or z total whatever you call is the summation of the three so this is z equivalent and from here we can find z equivalent to be summation of the three four plus j20 and plus z2 so this is 9.1 j27.42 so this is z equivalent and now we can easily find the current voltage divided by the total impedance so current is voltage divided by total impedance voltage is 12 and this is the impedance we convert it again into polar form uh, for dividing so and now 12 divided by 28.89 will give 0 0.415 and this will go up become minus so minus 71 point 64 ampere now since the current in phasor is required so we'll just leave it up to this point okay now let's go to the second problem so 9.44 and this problem uh, is slightly difficult uh, different from the previous one in that we have now uh, the, uh, the values in time domain uh, the voltage and similarly the capacitance and inductances are not converted into 
uh, phaser form. So first of all, we need to convert this into phaser form uh, so that we uh, can solve it easily. So the first thing that we need to convert into phaser form and for that we need omega so this is omega you know cos omega t so omega is 200 so we need to write that omega is 200 and now uh, from the theory I hope you will recall that the inductance in phasor form will become g omega l so plugging in the value of omega and value of l we get this to be j2 and similarly the 5 millifarad capacitor will become 1 over j omega c again plugging in the values we get 1 over j which is equal to minus j now, some students have difficulty in understanding how 1 over j becomes minus j so for them I'm just explaining it here at 1 over j if you multiply by minus 1 on the numerator and denominator it will become like this and you know that j square is minus 1 so minus 1 we write j square and denominator remains same and now j and j gets cancelled so we have a j at the numerator and minus sign at the denominator so we can write it as minus j so that is how you get 1 over j is equal to minus j okay so now Converting the circuit into a phasor form, the voltage we can write as J angle as 6 angle 0. The capacitance we have now denoted by minus J and the inductor as J2 from here. Okay, and now we'll solve just like the uh, previous one. We can see these two are in series. So uh, we give them a name and uh, solve them. We call it J Z1. So solving these two uh, from here you can see uh, they are just the addition. So addition of 3 and minus J. So it will be 3 minus J. And now these three are in parallel. So either you can try to solve them in all three together, but that becomes slightly complicated. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll first solve these two in parallel, and we call that Z2. And then after that, we'll solve these two in parallel. Okay, so Z2 is J2 and 3 minus J in parallel, J2 and 3 minus J in parallel. So multiply at the top and add at the bottom you can directly multiply this without the calculator even 6j plus 2j and j square j and j become a square for so minus 1 and minus minus plus so plus 2 and here it will be 3 and uh, j2 and minus j will give you plus j so 2 plus j6 uh, divided by 3 plus j this is Z2 and we can convert them into polar so converting both into polar and then dividing we get this 2 angle 53.13 and so uh, uh, this is in polar form we convert that into rectangular form so this becomes the rectangular form uh, of Z2 Okay, so Z2 was this and now we'll solve these two in parallels. So these two in parallel, we'll call it Z3. So Z3 is 4 parallel Z2. And following the same technique, 4 multiplied by Z2 and 4 plus Z2. direct multiplication and simple addition converting into polar form and then dividing we get 1.47 angle 36 degree converting it into rectangular we get 1.189 plus j 0 0.865 so this is z3 so now we have z3 so now we can easily calculate the current just dividing by these two So the current I 
is the voltage divided by 5 plus Z3, 5 plus Z3 and putting in the value of Z3, solving, converting into polar, this one converting into polar, dividing, so we get I is equal to 0 0.96 angle minus 7.956. Now in the question he has asked to find IT, not I phaser. So we'll now convert this into time domain. So converting into time domain, IT will be 0 0.96 and then we'll write cosine omega T. Omega is 200, so cosine T minus this angle because it's the minus. So minus 7.956 degree. So this is the answer. Now there is another way of doing uh, which most students uh, don't like but that is the simplest uh, way of solving. That is you know this part we have just done as we did in the previous example is the same question. So converting this up to here we found out Z1 and then you can see we can solve all these three in parallel. Now when we have more than two items in parallel, uh, then it is better to use the uh, admittance form, not impedance form. Now this is the impedance form, that is four parallel J2 plus three minus J. But we have seen that we had to do in two steps. If we do it one step, then it will be uh, slightly complicated. So it is better that we convert into admittance form so y2 will be 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 and now here we can just add simple addition so plus 1 over j2 so 1 over j2 plus 1 over this z1 and little manipulation here which is 1 over 4 will be 0 0.25 this will be minus 0 0.5 and for this to uh, make the denominator uh, free of j, we multiply by 3 plus j uh, on both uh, numerator and denominator. So this will become 3 plus j and 3 square minus j square. We know that minus j square is minus 1. So minus minus plus, so it will be 10. So y will become this. And for the simplification dividing by 10 these remain same so this will be minus 0.3 uh, sorry uh, plus 0.3 and then 0.1 j and now solving this we get y to be 0 0.55 minus j 0 0.4 now we had got y2 now now we need to convert it back into z2 so 1 over of y2 is z2 so 1 over this Converting this into polar form, we get this here, and dividing 1 by this, 1.47, angle plus 36, because it is minus here, when it go up, it will become plus, and converting into uh, rectangular form, we get the same answer that we got in the previous slide. And next, it will be just the same procedure, just adding these two, we get the current and converting into time domain. So this is the answer. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve these problems step by step. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please ask your friends or share with your friends. Thank you.